Hello everyone, back tuning into this month's ECMDF Metro France and DWD Long Reign Seasonal Update. So uh, this should be released uh, on Sunday, on Sunday uh, 19th of, uh, of July. Had a few days off and wasn't able to get video recorded, so I'm doing it a little bit later and in the week, uh, somewhat unusually. But um, here we go, we're going to release the uh, this month's ECMDF Metro France and DWD Long Range Update for you um, outside of the normal. Uh, Sunday afternoon uh, release schedule for this video. So I'll get on that for you uh, very shortly, just to say that the second autumn 2020 season one around will be coming up on Saturday. So uh, yes, the uh, second uh, uh, season one around for the autumn 2020 will, will be released at Gauss Office on Saturday. These models will form part of uh, that, of course. Um, but there will be several other models that, that we add into the mix uh, with that uh, as well. So uh, I'll get on with the uh, video for you uh, right now. Just say that we are at the Copernicus.eu uh, website. So a big thank you to them for supplying us uh, with the chart. So we're going to start off with the uh, with the mean sea level pressure anomalies for the next uh, few uh, next three trimonthly periods from uh, Metro France. This one for August, September, October is the nearest trimonthly uh, period, of course. So uh, this is potentially the most reliable part, uh, most reliable time of the period, I suppose, of the update. Uh, okay, so you know what's happening with this sort of yellow, orange, red, extrapolate to high pressure, blue, uh, extrapolate to low pressure, but deeper the uh, colour, the more intense the anomaly. Uh, so this is the uh, mean cell pressure anomaly uh, for uh, August, September, October from Meteo France. We see we've got an area of high pressure sitting out to our west and we're bringing like a west to northwesterly flow uh, across the country. So it looks relatively dry. Yes, the Atlantic is blocked off. Uh, maybe a little bit on the cool side though with winds from a west northwesterly direction. The next tri-monthly period is going to take us through September, October, November. This time we get some high pressure down to our southwest. Low pressure is beginning to develop up to the north up here. Uh, things going a little bit more flatter, a little bit more westerly. So that could be starting to turn a bit more unsettled. Probably relatively mild as well. Westerlies in the autumn are going to get milder as the season progresses, really. So Westerlies in September are probably going to be quite cool. Westerlies by the time it through to November are going to be relatively mild, potentially. Uh, probably turning a little bit more unsettled as the autumn progresses, perhaps. And then the final tri-monthly period is going to take us through October, November, December. And again, very similar, uh, really. So uh, again, we've got low pressure up to our northeast of Scandinavia. A ridge of high pressure is out to our west. Also, to some degree, time to move a little further north, we'll into the northern Atlantic. The flow of jet sort of westerly to slightly northwesterly, slight northwest tilt to it, perhaps. Um, but overall, still Atlantic driven, could be going a little bit on the cooler side, uh, potentially if winds going to the northwest. But overall, it's still quite, quite westerly, quite Atlantic driven, and nothing particularly dramatic, nothing particularly exciting uh, for the next uh, three trimonthly periods from Metro France. Let's see what the temperature anomalies are doing then. So, this is the temperature anomaly for August, September, October. So uh, most parts of Europe looking uh, like just ever so slightly above average, where we've got these yellow shadings, that's just around average to ever so slightly above. Warmest anomalies to average are in the far east and southeast of Europe. Coolest anomalies to average out in the northwest, where we've got those pale blue colours. That's ever so slightly below average. For the UK and for Ireland, again, we are quite close to average with our temperature anomaly, or we have no signal. Um, the next trimonthly period takes us through September, October, November. Again, looking a little bit cooler than average out to the northwest of the country. Some slightly below average temperatures there. Uh, elsewhere, most parts of Europe in most yellow shadings. So again, that's kind of like average to ever so slightly above average. And eastern parts of Europe are a little bit warmer, around half a degree to one degree above average. Scandinavia, either UK, again, sort of no signal to near normal. 
But we are closer to these cooler than average temperature anomalies. In fact, really quite cold for Iceland in those deeper blue colours, which uh, takes us down to light um, one to two degrees below average. So for Iceland, a cold autumn coming up. Uh, and cooler than average close to the UK and Scandinavia. And then the final tri-monthly period with Metro France, temperature anomaly takes us through to October, November, December. Uh, and again, we see that it's cooler than average just to our north, warmer than average over on the eastern side of Europe, by around half a degree to one degree. Elsewhere, again, close to average or no signal in those white shade areas. But certainly for the for northern and western Europe, from Metro France, there's certainly no signal for anything excessively warm in uh, in the next three trimethyl periods. So let's put it that way. So for the rest of the year. With Metro France, there's no sign of anything overly warm. What what warmth there is looks like it's generally over on the eastern, southeastern side of Europe. And even then, it's pretty modest, only around half a degree to one degree above average. Uh, precipitation anomalies from Metro France look like this. So uh, for like Western, Southwestern, Southern Europe, it's dry and average, a little bit wet average up towards Scandinavia. Otherwise, there's a lot of white going on there, a lot of uh, no signal. Next trimethyl period is for the autumn of 2020, September, October, November. Wetter than average for Northern Europe again. Scandinavia, wet average. Far North Scotland, a little bit wetter than average. Southern Europe is a little bit on the dry than average side. Otherwise, again, loads and loads of white going on. Uh, lots of no signal. And then the final trimethyl period is for October, November, December. And again, we see that it's wet and average over Scandinavia, just to the north of uh, Scotland. Hints of being a little bit drier average in the far south and southwest of Europe. Otherwise, again, lots of no signal going on. Clearly, there is a trough of low pressure that's in over Scandinavia through much of this autumn through to the end of the year. If we start getting ridging setting up around here, then we could be in business, start putting in some colder air later in the year from uh, the north. Right, that's uh, that's Metro France. These are the ECMWF. So uh, again, we've got mean sea level pressure anomalies from the ECM for August, September, October, just the next trimethyl period ahead. So uh, this one shows uh, a ridge of high pressure out to our west and also towards our northwest too. Leverage heights to our north and northeast. Winds are in from a northwesterly direction with a northwest southeast alignment projection, possibly. So it could be going a little bit more unsettled than what Metro France shows for that trimethyl period, like end of summer into early autumn. And it could be a little bit on the cool side as well, I think. The next trimethyl period will take us through September, October, November. Autumn 2020 is looking like that, with a ridge of high pressure through the Atlantic and going up towards Greenland. You would expect there to be a trough of low pressure through here, and winds could be going into north into the north to northwest or northwest to north so as the autumn progresses that could be shifting to an increasingly cold uh sort of scenario and then the final trimethyl period for october november december looks like that we're setting up a mid-atlantic ridge and sending the high pressure up to greenland and iceland uh signs of northern blocking there low pressure is through here Possibly as a trough of low pressure through much of northern and western uh, Europe. The jet stream and the flow uh, doing something a little bit like that. So potentially that could be quite cold actually for that last trimethyl period for northern and western Europe. Again, there's no particular trough of low pressure. But where we've got this ridge through the middle of the North Atlantic here... And going up to Greenland and ice, we've got that high pressure. You would probably expect some sort of corresponding trough of low pressure uh, around here somewhere. So quite interesting and potentially hinting at northerly or maybe even northeasterly influences there for the last trimethyl period of the year, October, November, December, with the ECMWF. Temperature anomalies uh, from the EC uh, seasonal model for August, September, October look like that. Uh, so for either the UK, again, very close to average, no signal to just ever slightly above average. Most parts of Europe are warmer in those orange shaded uh, shadings around half degree to one degree above average. Let's have a look at the next time up period. Uh, this one is for September, October, November. The warmest anomalies to average are being pushed over towards more northern and eastern parts of Europe. 
Again, no sign of anything particularly cold, no sign of anything particularly warm uh, across Western Europe. We're in those uh, white shadings, which is uh, average or no signal. Um, and finally, uh, the last uh, temperature line with the E70F is for October, November, December. Uh, again, we see the warmest anomalies to average being pushed increasingly over onto the eastern side of Europe, northern and western parts of Europe. Not cold, but again, not particularly warm either. No signal to potentially slightly above average from a temperature perspective. There isn't much sign of anything cold, but from the mean sea of pressure anomaly, uh, you would expect certainly the chance of some colder intervals through that last trimonthly period. And then precipitation anomalies with the ECMWF look like this. Again, we're coming back to August, September, October. Very similar to what Metro France was showing. A little bit wetter than average in the far north of Europe. A little bit drier than average across more southern parts of Europe. Otherwise, again, very little in the way of a signal. Next uh, trimester period for precipitation anomalies for, is for September, October, November. Uh, again, we see Scandinavia indicated to be above average with precipitation. Southern parts of Europe hint at being a little bit drier than average. And for the UK, Ireland and out into the Atlantic, again, we hint at just being a little, ever so slightly on the drier and average side. Not a particularly big deviation, but you can see where the high pressure is. The high pressure is through the North Atlantic and perhaps heading up towards Greenland. And then the final tri-monthly period is for October, November, December. And uh, again, hints at being a little bit wet and average around Scandinavia and the Baltic Sea. Out to our west, hints of being a little bit dry and average there. Maybe some ridging up here and through here too. And if we go far, far enough north to Greenland, probably up there as well. Southern Europe and Southeast Europe have seen being a little bit uh, dry and average. Most parts of Europe have no signal for precipitation, though very weak signals from a precipitation perspective from the ECM seasonal model. And then finally we've got the DWD. Now last month DWD was indicating northern blocking uh, as we head into the autumn. Let's see what it's showing this month. So this is the mean cell pressure anomaly from DWD, the German model for August, September, October. Low pressure to the north, high pressure is to the west southwest. Winds are in from a westerly direction. Could be a little bit on the unsettled side, particularly across the northern parts of the country. The next trimonthly period takes us through to September, October, November, uh, autumn 2020, with the DWD looks like that. Raising heights to the south, low pressure is to the north, flat westerly is. So uh, that's probably turning quite mild, actually, out of the three miles. That hints at being the mildest solution for the autumn. The high pressure across Central Europe, winds are coming in from west southwest direction. This is very different to what DWD was showing last month in terms of an increase in northern blocking signal into the autumn. And then the last trimester period is for October, November, uh, December. Again, this looks mild. Uh, this is mild compared to the other two, particularly compared to ECM. This one has the ridge over much of northern and western uh, Europe. So, so a ridge of high pressure over UK, France, Germany. Low pressure is up here. We're probably bringing up west south westerly winds. That's going to be a relatively dry, but also a mild or very mild end to the year. Uh, temperature anomalies with the DWD for August, September, October. Warmest anomalies to average across the east and northeast Europe. Uh, near normal anomalies, temperature anomalies across western parts of Europe. Next trimonthly period is for September, October, November. Again, eastern, northeastern Europe is a little bit warmer than average at half a degree, one degree above average. Most western parts of Europe, no signal. You can expect that to be milder, though, with high pressure building to the south of the country, dragging up southwest winds. And then by the time we get through to October, November, December, despite the mean cell pressure anomaly uh, seemingly supporting like a mild scenario with high pressure there, and you would have thought dragging up southwesterlies across much of northern western Europe, despite that, temperature anomaly is actually uh, lowering, or, or we're losing a signal anyway. Still, it's a little bit warmer now around Baltic Sea and down across Spain and Portugal, but otherwise, most parts of Europe have having no signal. Uh, but I would have thought that as we go along and the heights build, like to the south of the country, south of the UK, uh, you would expect the signal to get stronger to go milder than average. But the DWD doesn't really show that. So quite a strange update uh, this month from the DWD.
Finally, precipitation with the DWD. So, August, September, October, lots wet and average for Northern Europe. Some of Europe a bit dry and average. Otherwise, again, there's lots of white going on, lots and lots of no signal. The uh, next trimonthly period is for September, October, November. Again, looks significantly wetter than average across Scandinavia and to the north of the UK, across northern Scotland, Scandinavia. Southern, southwestern Europe, drier than average, especially so around Spain and Portugal, where heights are building from southwest, of course. And then final time period uh, is for October, November, December. Again, all the way along, it looks like quite an unsettled period through most of these models. Most of them are agreeing that Scandinavia has quite an unsettled sort of, uh, sort of uh, autumn and into early winter. Western Europe is weak signal, but Western Europe does. It's going a little bit drier than average overall, but quite a weak signal generally. Uh, okay, so... Uh, a mixed bag uh, with uh, with this update. Uh, we've got the ECMWF looking very, very interesting, certainly from a mean seal pressure anomaly perspective. Anyway, the ECMWF is, in, is hinting uh, at high pressure setting up in the North Atlantic and possibly going up towards Greenland towards the end of the year. That could turn wings into the North, possibly hints at some northerly wings for like the final quarter, October, November, December of 2020. Uh, Metro France is soaring between in between, and then DWD has the heights more centred to the south of the country, and uh, despite the fact that the temperature and precipitation normally don't really indicate this, I would expect the DWD to be the mildest of the solutions, really. The high pressure across France, down Spain and Portugal, dragging up those southwesterlies, that would be the mildest solution. The ECM could certainly be the coldest, and Metro France probably somewhere in between. Uh, okay, so that's it uh, for uh, for this month's ECMW Adventure France the DWD Long Range Season Model Update. Do it all over again uh, next month, of course. Uh, all of these charts will form part, all these models will form part of the second Autumn 2020 Season Model Roundup. And we're going to get that done for you uh, on Saturday. That will be up on Saturday morning. Uh, but for this particular update, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.